What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at the Queen Cutlery Doctor's Knife in Saw Cut Bone. This one was recommended to me by my good friend Randy over at Randy's WSG. If you're not already following him, definitely check him out. I'll make sure to leave a link to his channel in the description of the video. Now he recommended this to me at a time I didn't have a doctor's knife or any saw cut bone in my collection. I was still pretty new to slip joints, mostly had moderns and just a couple traditional patterns. And so I was wanting to check out a doctor's knife. I was also wanting to check out saw cut bone, not necessarily together, but Randy recommended over on the Discord that this is a great example of saw cut bone at a very affordable price. So I paid $17 for this one at the time on SMKW. Now, unfortunately, SMKW doesn't have it in stock anymore. However, this is still available if you search for the Queen Cutlery Doctor's Knife. The model number is QN016. Plenty of other retailers have it in stock for $20. I think SMKW is just kind of focused on the USA made line at this point, but really, really great example for the price. It's not without its flaws, but all stuff that can definitely be overlooked. Nothing that's really gonna affect the utility of this knife. So one of my favorite things about this particular saw cut bone, and it's still one of my favorite examples of saw cut bone in my collection, which is great for the price that we paid for it. And my favorite thing about it is how inconsistent that saw cut pattern is, which sounds like a little bit of a flaw, but it gives it a more handmade feel. Even though I'm almost positive these are not hand done, it does make it feel more hand done because the lines have different depths to them. Some of them are almost to the point where they're burnt. You see that black in there. Some are so shallow that they terminate a little bit earlier than they're supposed to. And then you have the die over the top that really just ties it all together. Now flipping over to that pile side, you can see pretty inconsistent from show side to pile side, but I actually like that on this one just to be able to see both examples and kind of see the variation that you can get in that saw cut bone. Obviously, I think in the long run, I'd probably prefer to have more math skills, but I, that point in my collection, I was really just hoping to see different variation. And so I really liked that they were a little bit different on both sides. Now, while we're still in the close position, 3.75 inches long, which is pretty long, but of course very narrow being a doctor's knife. This is also a single bladed. Sometimes I'll have that spatula or Rough Rider has that series of like the pipe doctor and stuff like that where you may get some other tools, but this is a single bladed version. And the covers on here already mentioned, I really love them. They're still some of my favorite saw cut bone. We have stainless steel pins and bolsters with the double fluting on both of those bolsters, both really well done, all completely flush. We also have a nice well set shield with that Queen Cutlery logo, which is that crown. Really great looking shield. I like that one quite a bit. Same thing on the pile side, all very consistent, all very flush and no major cracks or scratches or anything like that. No major gapping either. However, you may notice if I turn it to an angle that that spring is not entirely flush. And so it's not too bad in the closed position. It's a little bit more obvious in the half stop position, more so than the open fully deployed position. And so not a big deal if you're looking for like that safe queen, perfect fit and finish. I don't know how often you're gonna get that with a $17 knife, but this one is pretty dang good at that price point. And so if that's the biggest flaw in it, I think I'd be pretty happy with that 99 times out of 100. And so really no issue with that. We have that mat strike pull on here with the swedge here near the tip. You can definitely get your nail in there. It's also very pinchable, so you can just pinch and pull. One thing I did want to show before we open it is it for the most part it stays center but it's definitely open to influence you can kind of push it over into the show side or prowl side and it'll slightly favor that side but i've noticed that if i don't really move it and i just pinch and pull it, it does tend to stay centered but there is a little bit of movement there and a little bit of room for it to move around nice brass liners on that as well i didn't think i mentioned that when i was showing that spring but love how it kind of contrasts the stainless steel spring with those brass liners so glad they went with the brass liners as far as the pull on here pretty light and I find that to be the case with all of my doctor's knives so far I don't know if that's 100% consistent across the board I'd imagine it's because you're pinching and pulling further away from the pivot point it just makes it feel a little bit lighter this one I'd say is probably about a 3.75 or a 4 or so so definitely not too heavy but it is very snappy into all three positions. Great sound, great acoustics on that, and really great action. So the walk and talk, I'd say, is excellent. Really nice snap. The half stop on the close position feels a little bit lazy to me. I haven't had it close on me, but I could imagine just blowing right past that. So I do try and keep my fingers out of the way when I'm closing it. Right now, I'm obviously not doing that just to kind of show it on the camera, but it does feel like I could easily accidentally one day push past it. But again, hasn't happened yet, so hopefully fingers 
fingers crossed it doesn't close up on me. But that is the only spot where it feels a little bit lazy, which is interesting because I feel like it's pretty snappy when it's opening, but when it's closing, it feels like it just wants to keep going. It's kind of just soft there. And so not sure what that is, but just as long as you're aware of it, it shouldn't be an issue in the long run either. Also extremely lightweight. They listed at 1.4 ounces. I think I weighed it at 1.45 ounces. So they were rounding down, but still ultra light. This one's obviously one of their models that's made in China. They are making models in the USA now. I don't know if they're making any more in China or if it's just the old models that we'll find there. Definitely would like to get to the point where I can go check out one of those made in America versions. They're obviously a decent bit pricier, but still worth it from what I hear. And yeah, I would just like to see what they're like. In terms of the blade, we have, I believe a 440 stainless. We have a swedge here near the tip and a spear point style blade. Queen logo etched onto the tang and if we flip onto the back side we have that model designation which is qn016 and china etched onto the back but overall really great example it's i've had this one for a while i don't carry it all that often but every time i do i just really appreciate the looks of this one great looking knife and i can't believe how much i was able to get for the price point i think feel like you get a great usable knife at that price point like i said maybe not a safe queen or maybe you get lucky and there is no fit and finish issues and it can be a safe queen but really great knife that you're not afraid to use and beat up because it's super affordable but also incredibly beautiful so i would love to hear your thoughts on this one down in the comments below i'll try and link to somewhere that has it in stock it's almost certainly not going to be an affiliate link because i think all of the ones that i saw i don't have any affiliate links with but again i'll just try and find somewhere that's in stock to link to in the description in case you want to check this one out but would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below as usual if you enjoyed the video consider liking comment subscribing joining the channel as a member I'll help the channel out a ton and as always I hope you have a great one take care